So for this week, we will be reviewing discounts and markups. What's a discount? Uh, discount is the money you save. It's the decrease in the original price. Uh, a markup is an increase of the price. So this is to earn a profit. You know, um, if you're a business uh, person, so you're gonna mark items up so you can earn money. So let's uh, do this table right here. Okay. Now this table it says the original price for the first column, the percent of discount for the second, and the sale price for the third column. Now before we move on in solving this, we need to remember that we need to use the percent equation. Here we go. Now I don't know if you remember, you'll probably say no, I hope you will say yes. Percent equation means the whole is multiplied to the percent which is equal to the part, okay? So the whole is represented by W and for multiplication, let's put a dot on it or a parentheses. Percent, we'll just use P and the percent symbol equal to the part will be represented with letter A, okay? So the whole, this could be your original price or it could be the cost to the store. Oh, you can't even see that. Okay, there you go. Original price or the cost to the store. All right, percent, we all know what percent is. A, this could be the sale price. This could also be the selling price. And this could be the change in amount. So remember, W represents the whole, which is either the original price or the cost to the store when we're talking about markups. And this is talking about discounts. And the part, we're talking about the sales price, how much would you be paying for the item? The selling price, how much would you be selling the item? Um, and the amount, uh, or and the change in amount, okay? So we will be using these, um, this equation. Okay, so let's start with the first problem. It says the original price in them for number one is $130. Here we go. And the percent of discount is 55%. And the sales and the sale price is what we are trying to find. Now, remember our percent equation, okay? So, what does this mean? It means that the this is the full price. The original price is the full price. So this would be our W, right? Our whole full price. Percent of discount will be our percent. And the sale price would be R A. Okay, now, we've, now we have labeled everything. Now, if I were to draw a box, it means that this is the full price. 100% is the full price. So 100% of the amount, which costs 130, is the, is the full price of this item. If I were to say split this, so this is 50%, this is 50%, it says percent of discount. That means the amount of money we save will be 55% of 130. So if this is 50%, let's just say this is about 55 right here. So we are taking this out. This much is the discount. This is your savings. So we're not gonna pay the full price. So the discount is 55%. So what, what we're gonna pay would just be what? What's what's 100% take away 55%? We're only gonna be paying 45% of the amount. So that's what it means when you say discount. We're taking, um, we're taking a certain amount of money from the full price, and that would be 55% of the full price. So there's two ways to do this, 
Okay? So the first way, method one, which I actually like, method one, is to apply the formula first, W times P or percent um, equal to A. I messed that up. Okay, here we go. So we know that the full the whole price is 130 times now the percent. 55% means the discount. So we take away 55% of the full price. So take away 55% from 100%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 100% minus 55%. Why minus? Because it's a discount. It's a decrease in amount. We're taking 55% uh, from the full price, which is 100%. Okay? Now, we're solving for the part, the A. Now solve this. 130 times what's 100% minus 55%, you're only going to be paying 45% of the full price. So that's what we're trying to solve. What is 45% of 130? Now it's easier when we change this into a um, decimal. So how do we change this into a decimal? We divide 45 divided by 100. Okay, so that should give us 0 0.45, and this is 130 equal to A. Now, if we multiply this 130 times 0 0.45, you will get $58.50 is our sale price. So we're only going to be paying $58.50. So we're not going to be paying $130. So let me zoom out if I can, uh, which I can't anyway. So $130 is the original price. This is the discount. We're taking 55% away uh, from the 100% full price. So we're going to be paying $58.50. So that's going to be $58.50. And 50 cents. Okay, now what's method two? Method two is we're gonna try to figure out the amount of discount. Okay, so it's the same equation. So W times percent equal to A. So we know that the, the, the full amount was $130. And we know the discount was 55% equal to A. Change that to a decimal, 55 divided by 100, and you would get 0 0.55. Copy the rest of the problem. If we multiply this two, you would get what? What's 55%? Uh, what's 130 times 0 0.55? That should give you. $71.50. So this is the amount, the discount amount. So is this the price that you're going to pay when you go, uh, when you go pay for your item? No, this is the amount that you save. So that means you're going to subtract this from the original price. So the original price was 130 minus 71.50. And you will get 58.50. 7150 is the discount amount that, that you're gonna save. 130 was the original price, the whole price. So you will still get the same answer. I would prefer that you use method one. Okay? So make sure that you review how to do this because it will be uh, very helpful for you to solve for the sale price. Now let's move on to number two. Number two says percent, finding the percent of discount. Let's go back here. This is our problem. So for number two, finding the percent of discount. Oh, the answer here was uh, 58.50. There we go. Okay, so we know the original price is 400. And we don't know how much a discount is. 
the percent of the discount or percent of decrease and the sale price is $372. Let me get a highlighter and highlight the problem. There we go. Now, we have to ask ourselves, if, when you say percent of a discount, meaning the amount decreased, right? Because we have some savings, the amount decreased. So you have to ask, how much was the change in amount? Okay, so the first thing you need to ask would be, how much was the changed in amount? Why are we asking this? Because we're trying to figure out the percent of discount. So how much was the change in amount? Now, the original price was 400 minus the sale price is 372, right? So if you subtract that, what is 400 minus, minus 372? And you would get $28. So that means this is the discount amount. So if this is the discount amount, the money that you save, so instead of paying 400, you only paid 372. So this is the discount amount. So we're going to say $28 is what percent of 400? I hope you're not confused. So we got 28 from finding the change in amount. 400 minus 372, this is how much we save because the because the price went down. So now let's ask, 28, this is our A, our part, is what percent, so we're looking for the percent of 400. So this is our whole because this is the original price. Now we have what we need. Let's apply what we know. W times percent is equal to A. We know the whole which is 400. We don't know the percent. Let's just put that like that. And we do know the A, which is 28. How do we solve for P? We need to isolate P. Uh, solving equations, remember, if this is multiplication, we're going to do the inverse operation. That means the opposite of multiplication. So we're dividing by 400 because we need to isolate, keep the percent by itself. So now 400 divided by 400, that cancels out. And that, we cross that out, that becomes the percent is equal to, and 28 divided by 400. So remember, it should be 28 divided by 400. Excuse me. If you use a calculator, you're gonna get 0 0.07. Now, is this in percent? No, it's not. How do we change this into a percent? So before, um, we just either move this, the, move the decimal two places to the right or multiply by 100. Before, we divided by 100 to, to change percent to a decimal. Now, to change decimal to a percent, we multiply by 100. And you would get 7%. Okay? So the discount, the, the percent of discount is 7%. So don't forget. So if you take 7% away uh, from 400, you'll get $28. So that means you're only going to pay $372. So review the video again for you to help you out. This is the whole solution. Okay. Now let's move on to number three. So the answer here is 7%. Seven, 7%. Seven All right. So number three. Number three says finding the original price. Okay. Now, it says here, original price, we do not know. The percent of discount is uh, 7%, oh, not 7%, 10%. And the sale price is 68.40. Okay. All right. Now, would the original, would the original price be higher than the sale price? And the answer should be yes, should be. 
because this is the discount. The price went down. So that means this will be a bigger amount than the sale price. Now, what should we do? Hmm. Again, we're still going to use the percent equation. So we have, let me use a blank, black ink. We got W times the percent is equal to A. This is our W. This is our percent. And this is our A, our um, A. Now, we, we have to think. We took 10% off from the price. So that means this is 90% of the price. So we don't know the whole amount. But we do know in the percent that we took 10% from what? From the original price. And that gives us the sale price of $68.40. Remember, this is finding the original price, okay? Percent of discount, we took 10% from the original price, which is, which is 100%. So we're only paying 90% of the original price and that equals to $68.40. So this $68.40 is only 90% of the original price because we took 10% out. Now let's solve for the whole uh, for, for W. It's easier when you change this to a decimal. So this becomes W 0 0.90. Remember we're dividing by 100. 90 divided by 100 will give you 0 0.90, okay? Equal to 68.40. All right. Now, isolate the variable. We're dividing by 0 0.9, 0 0.9, and you will get W, or the whole, or the original price is $76. If you use your calculator, you will get this answer, okay? So the original price is $76. So I'm going to go back here. Original price is $76. And I'm going to write the answer here, $76. So please review this, uh, these solutions and hopefully it will help you out to solve the problem. So this is just a video on discounts. My next video will be about markups, okay?